as we age, you know, depending on that age, we do, you know, many of us do seem to get a little weaker and mm. lose some of our strength. Yes. And that can affect our daily activities as well. Uh, Patty, is that true for everyone? And if so, is there anything we can do about it? Well, just yes, maybe tell us one or two things. Absolutely, because uh, the research shows that we all, by the time we turn to 30, we sort of maximize our strength. And then for those of us who don't exercise, right. what can happen is from the, for every 10 years after we turn 30, we can lose up to 10% of our strength. So by the time we're 80, which is 50 years later, we could potentially have lost 50% of our strength from when we were 30. Wow. And that's from not exercising. But the good news is, is that if we continue to exercise and do some strength exercises, um, we can lose possibly only 2% each year. So in 50 years, we've only lost 10%. So it's a huge difference if we can maintain some activity and keep working our muscles to keep that strength. Because just from the daily um, quality of life that we want to be able to do our grocery shop, we want to be able to pick up our grandchildren, we want to be able to do things in our life that require strength. And if we just sort of stop doing things, we will not be able to have that quality of life. And that's really important. It's that independence, staying on your own, and having the ability to take care of yourself. Well, those, uh, those the statistics numbers are, are pretty staggering. That but, is staggering. But the good news is that we can, and we can, can change that. That's right. And the other good news is that it is never too late to start to do strength training. Um, so some simple yes. exercises with some simple weights, with some, some bands. You can gain strength back, certainly not from where we were 30 years from when we were 30, but you can gain significant strength back regardless whether you're 50 or 90. It's never too late to start to do strength training and critical to keep your muscles and bones mm -hmm. strong. You can start strength training at any age. Yes. Isn't that correct? Yes. And I think it's important that people understand that because many people may not have done that in their earlier life because it wasn't something that wasn't important and people didn't know the importance of that 50 years ago. Um, but certainly the research now shows that anybody can start at any time with some, right. some simple weights and not to be fearful of that. And, and whether you've got chronic diseases or not, there's always something that you can do that's very simple mm -hmm. to help to increase your strength because you really don't want to lose that. You want to be no. able to live that independent lifestyle as long as you can. And you need your strength to be able to do that. And you're right. You can, then you can still open jars that's and right. that's reach right. for things on that's your right. shelves that's and do right. all of those things and help us. I think but one of the biggest things that people have said to us when we've talked to older adults is, they want to be able to pick up their grandchildren. They want to be able to pick up yeah. those babies and feel safe and secure that they can hold them. And for some people, that's the motivating factor. Everybody's got a reason why they want to do things. But for many people, it was because I want yeah. to be able to be with my grandchildren, enjoy them, and pick them up. And I need to be strong enough to do that.